so formula for g is return on equity into retention rate and then this g is sustainable growth rate we want to understand that this g which is growth rate it is growth rate in what is it growth rate of earnings or is it growth rate of dividend or is it growth rate of equity capital okay so let's build a hypothetical scenario let us say that we have year 1 data year 2 data year 3 data maybe let's add year 4 we start a new business and we put in total equity capital of 100 in the first year let us say that first year you have been able to earn a profit after tax of 40 out of this 40 you decided that you want to pay a dividend of 20 so by the end of the year what would be the closing equity 120 because your equity will increase by the amount of profit so total equity here became 140 but you paid dividend 20 so closing equity this year is 120 next year your opening equity is 120 now your profit after tax is 48 your dividend is 24 and your closing equity now becomes 144 so please help me do subsequent calculations 144 into 0.4 can someone please perform it quickly 144 into 0.4 57.6 144 okay half of 57.6 is how much 28.8 so 144 plus 28.8 172.8 172.8 into 40 percent 69.12 half of 69.12 56 then 172.8 plus 34.56 207.36 okay. so now this is data of a company for four years every year the company is making some profit half of that profit is being paid out remaining half is being saved the first thing that we do is we find out what is the ROE of the company okay. so ROE is calculated as total profit divided by total equity this is the formula PAT divided by equity so 40 divided by 100 which is 40% 48 divided by 120 how much 40%. 40 percent that's how we calculated it isn't it so every year we set up profit equal to 40 percent of opening equity so we have kept ROE as a hypothetical 40 percent next thing that we look at is the retention rate that means what portion of my profit did I reinvest in my business your earning was 40 your dividend 20 that means you retained 20 so can I say retention rate is 50 percent how much is the retention rate next year 50 percent 50 percent and 50 percent so using the sustainable growth rate formula which is ROE into retention rate 40 percent into 50 percent that is giving us a sustainable growth rate of 20 percent 20 percent for each of the year are you following this yes. now how do I interpret this number of 20 percent sustainable growth rate that means my earnings should grow by 20 percent every year yes. now see this part carefully let me change the color of the ink first thing is let us find out the growth rate in equity first year it was 100 next year it became 120 what is the growth rate 20 percent 120 it became 144 what is the growth rate 20 percent and 172 from 144 is also 20% that means this sustainable growth rate is telling you at what rate your equity capital is going to increase also look at your PAT from 40 to 48 that's a growth rate of 20% 48 to 57.6 is also 20 
and this should also be 20. Dividend 20 to 24, that's a growth rate of 20% again and this should be 20% and this should also be 20%. So when they say sustainable growth rate and the question comes to you that growth rate of what? Growth rate of everything. Because you make an assumption that ROE would remain constant, that means whatever is your equity, 40% of that would be your earning every year. And because you make an assumption that half of my earnings I will pay off every year in this example, your equity will keep on growing at the same rate, the same rate for PAT and the same rate for dividends. Are we fine with this?